Yes. Mm. So, but the, but the thing is that they have a way to express it, but not the same way that we do. And that even then, that might affect how someone views the world even. Possibly. And some of the things I don't know that they do have a way to express. I don't um, know if they have a way to express the difference between eight and nine. Those are not things that they ever think usefully about. distinguish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then again, they can, uh, whistling is part of their language. So it's it is, coded. Yeah. So they, they use whistling for hunting. We can't tell the difference between a kind of whistle like, hey, the animal's close. It's like, hey, it's, he's running away. But they can't. Sure. Yeah, so some mm-hmm. languages have different modes and how you can speak, hum, or whistle. Oh. Yeah, you can hum it as well. Oh, it's highly cool. tonal, so you can hum and communicate full sentences humming. Cool. Mm-hmm. Really? Well. And uh, languages that have a whistled version use it for totally different purposes. So there are sheep herders, they use it. Mm-hmm. I think in Spain or Portugal, I don't remember exactly, but they whistle so they can communicate with other sheep herders that are really far oh. away on like far away hilltops, right? Oh. Mm-hmm. The Pirajá use it in really close quarters while hunting in the jungle because if they speak they'll spook the animals but mm. if they whistle back and forth it doesn't make the animals run away 